let's talk about the answers to 4.3.2. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this. Okay. The slicer, this entire slicer here. Hit delete. Good. Okay. Ignore that, that alert there. Okay. Ignore that alert as well. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to click here and we're going to reinsert it. Okay. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go over here to the pivot table all the way on the right. Let me scroll over here. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert and then slicer. Okay. Uh, and then I'll put name here. Okay. And then what I'll do is um, I will cut this. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry about that. Don't ignore that. Okay. Go over here uh, and then back to exercise two, sorry. Uh, and then we're going to paste it here. Okay. So I'll paste this directly here and then we'll size it the best we can. Okay. Make it try to align here as close as possible. Okay. And let's test to see if it works. So let's pick a random person. It works. Okay, good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, good, good. Okay. All right, next up, change any image to another icon. The way you do that is you right click, uh, you change graphic. And the great thing about what I'm about to show you is when you change the icon, it's not going to change the dimensions. It'll be the same. Okay, and that's how I changed all of the uh, the menus as well at the very top there, which took me a long time. So I'll insert just a random one here. Okay, good. And it keeps the same dimensions. Okay, step three, change age right here to ph philanthropy score, if I can say it. Okay, uh, and we have to change the icon as well. So let me do the easy stuff first. So right here, I'll change this to philanthropy score. Okay, and we'll change this image here to something more representative. Um, okay, I'll do a search for, let's see, change graphic to, we'll do, I'll just do a search for environments. Okay, environments. Okay, and this one's tricky, okay? I like this guy here. Okay, good. All right, next up, what we have to do is we have to change this data point here because right now it represents billionaire age. So I'm gonna hit the button to the left of the space bar. Then I'm gonna hit open square brackets to jump over there. Okay. This is going to be tricky because not everybody has a philanthropy score. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to click here, go down to philanthropy score. Okay. And I'm going to drag this all the way to the bottom here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Did it appear? I'll try it again. Okay. I'll drag it almost to the bottom and then I'll, I'll move it. Okay. Philanthropy score. Okay. And I'll fix the stupid row thing in a second. Okay. All right, so right here, right to the bottom. Is it there? Good, okay, great. Excellent, good, good, good. Okay, now it doesn't appear for everybody because not everybody has a philanthropy score, okay? Uh, Spiegel probably does, he's given a lot of money away. Okay, here it is here, okay, so he's got it here. So let me first of all go here and uh, for this, I'm gonna right click here, uh, row height. 14.75. I've lived in the spreadsheet for years. Okay, great. Uh, and give me one second to see the data here. Okay, here it is right here. Okay, philanthropy score. All right, then I'm going to add here philanthropy. And then here, I'm going to make it equal to this number here. And I'm keeping it at the bottom on purpose because a lot of times this data doesn't show up or it shows up as blank. So I'm going to hit enter here and let's name this field here. Okay. So over here, uh, I'm going to call it uh, billionaire. Let me hit X here first of all. Okay. Right here, billionaire. And then I'll call it philanthropy. Good. Okay, good. So we've got a name field here. Awesome. All right. So let's go back now to 432. And over here, I'm going to make this equal to philanthropy score. Okay. What happened there? I got a spill error. Let's see why. Hold on a second. Let's see what happens. Oh, I think philanthropy score here billions. And I don't want to edit this out. I want you to see my mistake and learn with me. Okay. Philanthropy score. Let me type here philanthropy score to see. I might have highlighted a couple of cells at the same time. Aha, I highlighted the whole column. I'm an idiot. Not going to edit that, okay? So I'm going to go here to formula, okay? And I am going to fix that. 
So name manager, okay? Billionaire philanthropy score, which is right here. And I'm gonna change this to point, okay? Directly to here, so I don't get a spill error anymore. Yes, change, good. All right, let's go back here to see if that worked. Yay, it worked. Uh, Evan Spiegel has a philanthropy score of one. He's given a lot of money away. It's great. Not everybody has a philanthropy score, though. So watch what happens here. Okay. I click here. This is blank. So I'm going to fix this. So what I'll do is I'll say equals if billionaire philanthropy equals blank, then show not available. Otherwise, show billionaire philanthropy. Okay, here, close brackets, let's see if it works. Yay, it works. Okay, let me click here. Evan Spiegel should say one again. Good, let's see if some random person has it here. Most people doesn't have it in the Forbes data. Okay, okay, great, excellent. And that works. All right, and let me select uh, Bill Gates because he definitely gives a lot of money away. Here we go, Bill Gates, philanthropy score, yes. Let's see, score of four. Oh, I guess four is higher. I guess higher is better, I guess. Yeah, one is, is lower. Okay, great. And that basically summarizes it. Okay, great. Thank you.